Where are the benefits to being a private company? And I ask you that because we had Buffalo Wild Wings, now we're going to fall in the umbrella of Arby's. What could they be looking forward to as well? I, I guess they'll probably be going through many changes too yeah. in the next couple of years. You know, it's, um, it, it's very consistent where as a public company, whether or not you acknowledge it, you feel this quarterly pressure to perform. And you, it, in my opinion, what ends up happening is a lot of times you give the keys to the business mm -hmm. to the analyst community who start dictating to you how to run the business yeah, healthy. spreadsheets, yeah. Yeah, and it's very challenging, especially in the business that's stuck in a turnaround. Mm -hmm. When a business needs to be fixed, it needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. And it means you have to have, you know, you have to have some at least medium-term vision. Mm -hmm. Not long-term, nobody expects to wait 10 years for something to get turned around, but you need to be able to wait a couple years. Yeah. And so it's a lot easier to do that with private investors who can see the progress, who can evaluate the progress, and you know, in many instances are side by side with me looking at things and thinking about the strategy of the company. You've seen, I mean, you've, I believe you were at Kraft, I mean, in, in Maine, you've really had an extent, I'm not calling you old, you've had a lot of, you've had a lot of experience. <laughs> yeah. Do you see there's more deals like a Buffalo Wild Wings, Arby's in that pipeline, or valuations and casual dining just now too attractive to ignore? I mean, we have a lot of private equity money sitting on the sidelines. I think, um, I think as a, if I were to be an investor right now, I think casual dining is an excellent place to put your money. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Brian, think about it, that for the last four or five years, casual dining has actually been on a bit of a downhill slope. Yeah. It's discretionary, it's consumer discretionary. It makes no sense, yeah. right? Consumer confidence, whether you look at the University of Michigan report or the Consumer Confidence Board, is at a high that it hasn't been at for almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. Eventually, Americans will continue to go out and enjoy themselves, go out to eat and have fun. As that happens, this whole industry uh, is a really attractive return for investors, mm -hmm. right? The, the way this business works is, I gotta keep the lights on, I've got my team members in place, I do all that. Mm -hmm. Whether I have 100% of sales, or 80% of sales, or 150% of sales. Mm -hmm. At 150% of sales, we do really well for investors. Do you wanna be public again? I mean, is that, is that a, an end game with your private equity owners? I'm really agnostic. I'm, I'm perfectly aligned with my owners. Sure. What we want to do is have an exit that's in the best interest of all shareholders. Mm -hmm. Public is fine, and I think a company like P.F. Chang's, you know, we're, we're 300 restaurants now, 1.2 billion in system sales. Um, we're going to build 20 new restaurants next year between international and domestic. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we have a very compelling public IPO story. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we would certainly benefit from a, Another 18 months, two years under private ownership to continue to fine tune the business and, and really get it on the um, uh, firing on every single cylinder. So what you're saying is you're ready for earnings calls again. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> just want to switch. You're definitely not. <laughs>